very much delighted, even excited to have a wonderful conversation with a man of the moment, weather man, Dr. Mutinjo Mahapatra. <laughs> Sir, let us come back to Odisha. You sit in Delhi. So, how do you see Odisha as a progressing state? There is a lot of buzz on Odisha, international map. How do you see sitting in Delhi? If you want to see Odisha today, then you have to compare Odisha with yesterday. Now, if you just look at, there has been tremendous progress in Odisha with respect to its um, societal behavior or economic behavior. We have come up a long way with respect to all types of infrastructure. Our economy has improved. Our children have grown up. Our educational system has improved. And each and every individual in Odisha now feel proud that we belong to Odisha. Odisha has been successful well, to provide leadership in the country. Odisha has been everywhere in the international arena, be it literature, Madam Basandeti, or be it sculpture, Sarmathi yes, yes, sir. or be it academics, Sarmathi Basandeti, sir. or be it um, our literature again, Prasanna Sar Basandeti. So, each and every field, or be it science and technology, anywhere, everywhere, you will find that Odisha finds a place not only in India, but also in the world. So I feel proud to be in Odia, and I feel all of us should Sir, feel proud. It's a pleasure. Sir, there are issues, there are problems, like uh, labor migration, uh, unemployment, so even a startup. So how do you view to tackle all those issues? So you can say chronic problem, unlike the southern, southern state like Kerala, Tamil Nadu, they are doing wonderful way. So why can't Odisha? So there is a competition always. Earlier also there was competitions, but over the period of time, competition is becoming tougher and tougher. But the good thing is that uh, people in Odisha are also coming up. And they are now in a position to fight with, with all types of um, societies. And also the good thing is that the communal harmony in Odisha will not find any conflict among the people. Yes, Another thing is that our culture, our traditions, all these are building blocks for Odisha. So at the same time, the science and technology has also grown in the state. Improved, sir. There is a lot of institutions which have come up in the recent times, both in academic and R&D. Number of universities have also come up, both central and state. There has been many collaborative study. And I will say at the same time, Odisha is a laboratory for various um, scientific facts. We can find out science each and every sculpture of our country. The whole stuff. For anywhere you go, you can find out some kind of science also. At the same time, I will tell you, naturally, India or Odisha is bound by such an environment like we have got the seas, we have got the hills, we have got the desert-like areas in Kalahandi, and we have got various types of landforms. As a result, we experience all types of natural hazards in the state. And that natural hazards in the state contributes about 5% of loss of GDP in the state every year. So therefore, we, the first and foremost thing was to make ourselves vibrant with respect to combating the natural disasters. And we have come up in that way. Now we are in a state that we can come up or we are very much resilient even after the passage of the tropical cyclones. We are coming up very short time thanks to the combined, impact, combined effort of the central and state governments. But at the same time it provides an opportunity also to work out the various science and technology applications. As you told the startups, there is enough scope in the, in the state to go for the startup. Apart from all these natural disasters management, we have also natural resources. Odisha is such a state, we have got all types of resources because of the forest areas, because of the hill areas, because of the mines, and because of the seas. So therefore, um, there is enough scope, industries are also coming up, and there is a bright future where people of Odisha can work with all other states and all the other people in the world and take the state in the progressive path. So Odisha can easily compete with other developing states? Certainly, if you look at the, the growth of economy, it is far better than many states of the country at present. Yes, sir. So therefore, it gives a ray of hope that in future also, we can proceed further, we can be far ahead of many states in the country. Great, sir. Sir, you will be retiring sooner or later. Are you available to serve Odisha once you get retired? See, I am, I am serving now. Yes, sir. In future also, because, I will be serving. Because your service is incredible. Odisha would uh, seize that opportunity. Yes, yes. Actually, a scientist is not limited to its service period. Yes, sir. 
he is active during the service period he will remain active after the service period the science does not die no retirement science is ever growing yes sir so that That's as so far which as the means creativity you are is there, available he will which means if i understand correctly you are yeah. available to sort the state sir suppose you are asked what kind of odisha would dream of my final question to you the society is now passing through a very critical path in the sense that i am talking of um, the role of science in the society society is rapidly progressing science is also rapidly progressing there needs some kind of sustainable environment where science and society can come together and science can serve the society but there is certain threat from the science at present that we know that because of the scientific and technological developments we have adopted such um, an environment we are just like ahimanyu we say sometimes we are like ahimanyu in chakrabhyu we know how to enter into the chakrabhyu but we do not know how to come out of that i am just talking about in terms of the climate change we know that climate change is not good we know that greenhouse gases are not good we know that we should not emit the greenhouse gases by the development of industries by the development of urban areas by the development of transport sectors which are contributing to this type of gases but still we go on because we want the growth of economy so that's why i told that we are in a society where each of us look like an ahimanyu but we can do something yes. we can go for sustainable development we have to, to give our efforts yes so I'll for the future it. if we just look at we can go for a sustainable development with application of science to the society in that sense if we just look at the science of climate change has three aspects one is the science of climate that india meteorology department says whether climate is changing or not if it is changing what can it be attributed to greenhouse gases or not second part comes the adaptations and mitigations if you look at the parts of science of climate change the poorer are the sufferers more sufferers the coastal people are more sufferers therefore odisha is one of the state which can have the large impact because of the climate change so therefore we have to go for massive adaptation and mitigation policies say for example now we talk about throughout the globe that if you want to fight climate change you have to go for non conventional energy you should go for solar energy you should go for wind energy but till today odisha is the best source of energy because of its coal reserve oh, now when you go for the future blessing in disguise You're yeah blessing when you go for the future then you have to change the coal energy into the solar energy but solar energy capacity or potential is assessed and we have to we have to transform we have to adapt the environment otherwise the people those are involved in coal energy yes, those people are involved in transport sectors they will be facing problems therefore there is a huge task to go for adaptation in this change over period from the conventional energy to the non conventional energy now if you just look at the potential for non conventional energy gujarat rajasthan they are the major sources of non conventional energy solar and wind here odisha jharkhand bihar chatisgarh we are the major source of conventional energy now when the source changes now the electricity is being transported to these states in future electricity will transport from those state towards odisha so before that we have to plan we have to see that our people are not affected the large sector if you just go on the national highway from doitari to parade for example you will find each and every corner there are garages many in unorganized sectors are employed because of this industry base adaptation changes smoothly then all can be adjusted or otherwise it can lead to national problems similar is the case with respect to other sources of energy we can also identify the areas in saint odisha where we can have the non conventional energy like solar and wind also so by that way odisha can also become a source of the non conventional energy superbly said sir